Hi everybody, Matt Evers here from Dancing on Ice and I just wanted to send a little hello and put together a little video for you uh, and share my story in regards to It Gets Better UK is such an incredible organization which I'm sure you are aware of if, if you're seeing this video. And I just wanted to kind of just give you a little insight on my story and how I came to be where I am in my life today. I do understand that things can be rough sometimes for the LGBTQ plus community, especially when you're younger. And my first word of advice is that it does get better. The name is in the title when it comes to what we go through. I grew up in Fargo, North Dakota. Now, if you're not quite sure where that is, it's not a very big place. Uh, the The metropolitan area, it's, it is a city by all means, but it is a very small city in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It's just up by Canada. And growing up, there weren't very many LGBTQ plus people that I, that I actually knew. It's a very interesting place just in regards to the community itself. It's uh, very Christian, uh, it's very white, and diversity in North Dakota back in the uh, 80s and 90s pretty much didn't really exist. As a kid, I was a competitive figure skater I skated three or four hours before school, and then I went back after school and skated another hour or so. So there wasn't much time for me to spend spend time with friends or see people outside of school and skating. And I think a lot of people just didn't understand that. They didn't understand why I would do something different because I was the only male figure skater in the, the well, in the city, let alone the entire state. And Junior high and high school was very tough for me. I was bullied pretty much nonstop. I can remember sixth and seventh grade being absolutely terrified to go to school every day. I was bullied and called every name under the book. Uh, leaving school, I would get thrown into the bushes outside by some of the bullies uh, in my class and some of the older kids that were in the school. And I was quite scared to talk about it. Uh, I don't think I ever told my parents at that point what I was going through, and uh, I suffered a lot from anxiety. At the same token, too, I had at one point we thought I had a stomach ulcer because my my stomach was always in pain, uh, but it ended up being uh, from the bullying that I went through, and I think it wasn't until uh, my senior year of high school, the last you know the last couple of months that I was in school, I had just um, my mother had just passed away uh, when I was 17 years old, and I knew I was going to be leaving Fargo pretty much as soon as I could get out of there after I gra graduated. Uh, I went to the University of Delaware to continue my skating on a more national and international level. I was working with some of the best coaches in the world at that point, point. Uh, and knowing that I was going to be leaving Fargo and getting away from some of those kids was enough in itself to start kind of me seeing through the dark and moving more towards the light. And I think the best advice that I can give anybody going through what you might be going through at this point is it does get better. And there are people out there that will listen if you need to speak to somebody. Part of the reason why I just launched my podcast called The Truth, The Gay Truth and Nothing But The Truth was because of what I went through as a kid. I didn't feel like I ever had a safe place to just talk or just be with somebody, to exchange stories, to listen to other stories that I could relate to. You know, if, if you feel like you're the only one in that sort of situation, which I was um, when I was a kid, it was a very lonely place. And as much as my parents loved me and as much as my sister loved me and my skating friends at that time and my one or two friends that I had in school, which was pretty much it, you know, they, they were close, but at the same token too, I just never felt like I could explain myself and nor would they understand what I was going through. So for me, I think it's just a notion that it does get better and you're not alone by any means. Reach out. It's so nice in this day and age to have social media as brutal as it can be sometimes and those trolls and those bullies still can get to you on social media so you do have to be careful. However, 
For as many as bullies that are out there on social media, there are 10 to 100 times more people willing to listen. So, you know, if you don't feel like you have anybody to speak to at home or at school or at, you know, church or your sports or wherever, whatever you might do, keep in mind that you can always contact myself or other LGBTQ plus uh, people that work in the in media or work in television uh, and we're there to listen. You know, I may not be able to fix it immediately by any means, but uh, if you just need to get something off your chest, I do try and respond to every DM or comment that comes in on my Instagram or my Twitter because I do understand what you're going through. And uh, the best thing to do is just keep that chin up, walk past those bullies in school, walk past those bullies on your street if that's where they are, and just keep your head held high because as hard as it might be right now, I guarantee you, if you stick with it, it does get better. All right, thank you guys so much. And um, yeah, just keep smiling. Keep smiling.